Now that you understand the basics of how InView works, it's time to jump in and start creating our first site. How are we going to do that? The first step is to create a basic layout for our web page using a table. So let's go over how we use InView to create and edit a table so that it's looking just the way we want it to. In order to insert our table, let's click the table button in the toolbar. Doing this pulls up a screen of options. Quickly, precisely, cell. We could use the quickly screen to set up our table um, quickly, <laughs> just by using our mouse to select the dimensions of the table. But instead, let's make this table to our exact specifications by selecting precisely. In the precisely tab, we can choose how many rows and columns we want our table to have, as well as the table width and the size of the border. For our example, we'll need a table with three rows and two columns, so enter those options. And let's make our table 80% of the page width so that it doesn't dominate the entire screen. Use the pull-down menu next to the width input box to change from specifying pixel width to specifying percentage. We don't want a border for this table, so change the one in the border box to zero. Now we have a table, but we'll need to make some changes to it before it's ready to become our site template. Let's first make it so that our table is centered on the page. To do this, select the table by clicking on the outside of it. By double clicking on the little boxes of the edges of any table, you'll be able to bring up the properties for that table. Click on the table tab, and change the table alignment to center. There, nearly ready to go. The last thing we need to do to the framework of our table is to merge together the cells of the bottom row so that we can use that row as our footer. In order to do this, click inside the bottom left hand cell. Then hold down the shift key and click inside the bottom right hand cell to select the whole row. Now go to the table menu and select Join Selected Cells. Clicking this will make your bottom row solid. We did this to make a footer, but it's a useful trick for laying out your web page. You can also right click on the selected cells to bring up this option. You can also adjust the cell padding and cell spacing of your table here. Cell padding is the amount of padding inside each individual cell. Cell spacing is the amount of padding between cells. 5 pixels of cell padding and 5 pixels of cell spacing is a good average. Now let's start adding color to our table. In order to change the color of a cell or a group of cells, simply select the cell by clicking inside it or using the select option of the table menu. Once you've selected the cells you want to alter, go to the table menu again and choose cell or table background color. A screen will appear offering you a rainbow's worth of color options, but you'll want to stick to the predefined colors on the right hand side of the menu because they will look the same in all browsers. Go ahead and pick an option that looks nice to you, then hit OK. Take this opportunity to go through your whole table and make your color selections. You can change them later if you want. Now let's look at the size of these table cells. Right now your columns are the same width but you're not going to want the left-hand column where you'll put your header image and navigation bar to be as wide as your right-hand column where you'll put your header text and main content. But that's cool because we can fix this pretty easily. In order to change the width of columns, use the bar directly above your web page where a ruler might be in another program. Here you'll see the dimensions of your table columns as defined by thin boxes. To make a change to these dimensions, Click down on the space between the boxes, then drag your mouse to make the boxes smaller or larger. The table will automatically adjust to these changes. You can also use the same method to increase or decrease the size of your table's rows using the bar on the left hand side of the window. Now your table is prepared for all the excellent content you're about to put into it. Are you excited? I know I am. You know why? Because this table is going to make your website unified clearly organized, and darn snazzy looking. <laughs>